welcome to an introduction to Account Reconciliation Cloud. My name is Anoa Stetler. I'm an associate consultant at Argano Interrel, and I will be your presenter. So account reconciliation in its most simplest form is simply the validation that an account balance is correct. A very useful example I like to use is say you purchase something with a credit card. Um, when you first look at your bank account to see if the money uh, you spent using that credit card uh, has uh, been withdrawn, uh, at first it won't say that it has. And the account reconciliation process uh, is all about uh, taking the amount that you spent with that credit card and subtracting it uh, from your current bank account. So there are many different account types that are validated or reconciled differently. For uh, cash accounts, they compare the GL balance to the bank balance. For AP accounts, they, they compare the GL to the subledger. Um, for AR accounts, they compare the GL to uh, the subledger and analyzes the aging of receivables. For fixed asset accounts, they compare the GL to uh, subledger and and perform a roll forward. For prepaid accounts, uh, such as insurance, they document the composition of the balance and uh, justify it. For accrual uh, accounts, such as uh, bonuses, they document the composition of the balance um, and just also justifies that. And for provision and reserve accounts, they document the comp they also um, document the composition of the balance and justify it just like uh, accrual accounts. Now, the typical reconciliation process at the moment is quite cumbersome. It has limited visibility into whether it's complete or not. Um, it has limited reporting across the reconciliations. Uh, uh, there's always a risk of reconciliations uh, being lost. It's very uh, uh, insufficient uh, at time management and very high risk and non-compliance. Now, ARC does uh, several things to address uh, these issues. For one thing, uh, it enables automated account reconciliations. It also provides governance and real-time status reporting, and it also addresses security uh, and risk concerns. Now, in terms of specific features it holds, it addresses the global reconciliation process, provides transparency throughout the whole thing, it ensures qualifications uh, of all the reconciliations, um, it streamlines uh, the task for optimal performance uh, throughout each of the cycles, it integrates uh, transactional systems. It has a simplified a UI and it also provides performance and compliance analytics. Here's an example of one of uh, those UIs for the reconciliation task. It'll display uh, the tabs, fields, and labels of, of the task for easy access for all users uh, to access. In this example of an account uh, profile, reconciliation tasks created from this uh, profile will reference the reconciliation format that for this example is var uh, variance analysis and will allow for the importing of uh, system um, balances and then loading of transactions to explain the source system balance. The workflow tab of the profile specifies the names of the reconciliation preparer and or the reviewers. And ARC also provides a much better uh, overall um, process uh, management of the reconciliations. It provides real-time visibility into the progress and status. It assigns staff to specify items to be reconciled and analytics to review the uh, trending in areas for the improvement. It also provides an outlet for um, creating reports and analyses of the reconciliation tasks. Finally, 
ARC has full data integration from Oracle and other ERP systems. It allows you to leverage existing on-premise IT investments and also is uh, automated with EPM automate routines. And with that, that's the end of this uh, presentation. Uh, again, ARC is very uh, useful for the reconciliation process and I hope you will consider it. Thank you.